Let's say that I've got so much that I want to do. I want to do mixing and audio repair and cleanup and boosting levels. Final Cut is a wonderful editing tool, but it's not good for audio. I want to move it to Adobe Premiere. But wait a minute. It's an Apple product and Adobe product. How do I move them between? Easy. Let me show you how. Select the project. Uh, let's see, Dr. Surf. For instance, here, the interplanetary internet. I'm going to select the project, go up to File, Export, and XML. I'm going to store the XML in a folder just because I can. Make sure you've always got it set to current version. Click Save. It's replaced because I was rehearsing. I now create an XML file and will hide Final Cut. There's an application which you can get in the Mac App Store called X2CC. It's made by Intelligent Assistance. All you have to do is grab that XML file and drag it on top of X2CC, and it says, I'm going to convert this for audition for you. Well, I don't care about the video roles. I care only about the audio. So I'm going to click OK. It says, where do you want me to store this? I want to store it to the desktop, and I'm going to click Save. And it now has created this converted XML file that's going to work specifically for Audition. So now let's fire up Audition, go up to File, go to Open. I don't have to do anything special. Just say Open and go to the desktop, and there's my XML file that's been converted. Click OK, and that quickly, it's found all of my audio. Now, one of the things that I have to do is that Audition only supports one video clip. Now, in Final Cut, we've got dozens and dozens of video clips. So what I have to do is, in Final Cut, I have to export. Um, I'll do it for Apple devices. I've exported an, an M4V rolling, file, yeah. which is my video. When I go back to Audition and import, I'll take that um, M4V file right there. It gets imported, grab it, and simply drag it into the video track that's there. It automatically puts it in the right track, and now there is my audio in, my laboratory. We've been in all of my individual clips so I can mix them and my video. We're going to talk about how to mix with Audition next week. So let's pretend our mix is done, because we'll learn how next week, and then you get back to Final Cut. Go up to the File menu, go down to Export, Multi-Track Mix Down, Entire Session, and let's call this uh, Final Mix, and we'll save it to the desktop. 48K, 16-bit, stereo, everything that I want. The mix is done almost immediately. Let's go back to Final Cut. Open the import command I, find the desktop, and where's our final mix? Right there. Click import selected. Now here's the last step. This is a little bit tricky. You just got to watch. You take the final mix. Starts with the word final. There it is, right there. And I'm going to grab it and drag it so it goes down at the very bottom of my timeline. With final mix selected, go up to modify, go down to edit roles, and create a new audio role called Final Mix. You can call this anything you want, but I call it Final Mix to keep it obvious. With that clip selected, go back to Modify and assign the Final Mix role. Why? Because now when I go to the Timeline Index, I say, turn off the dialog, turn off the music, turn off the effects, just leave final mix, and now I'm listening. Again, another role that I have at the gym. I'm listening to the mix that I did inside Audition while looking at all the pictures that I edited inside Final Cut. Moving files between Final Cut and Audition for repair and mixing and moving them back is fast and easy. All you need is that one utility, X to CC, and you can get files out and back into Final Cut with no problem. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at audio for video editors. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 179. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars 
for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.